Hello grade 11, this is Tutor Marife MCP. Welcome to my channel. In this video, ang itututor ko ay exponential decay. And one of the most common terms associated with exponential decay is the half-life. Ano ba itong half-life? It is the amount of time for a substance to exponentially decay to half of its original quantity. Yun ang half-life. So, ito yung problem natin. The half-life of a radioactive substance is 1,000 years. If the initial amount of the substance is 400 grams, Write an exponential model for the amount remaining after t years and how much of the substance remain after 1,500 years. Okay, so ang first requirement sa ating problem ay ang exponential model that represents our problem. Ano ba ang basic exponential decay half-life model natin. It's actually y equals y sub 0 multiplied by 1 half raised to small t over capital T. This is the basic model or representation of half-life. Okay, so, i-define natin ang bawat component ng ating basic formula. Y is the final value or final amount. Y sub 0 is the starting value or the initial value. Itong one half ay constant dito sa formula. So, it's always present pag gagamitan mo ng, ng half-life model. Okay? So, it's the split factor. Itong small t is time that has passed. Ito namang capital T sa baba ng small t ang half-life. Half-life time. Okay, so ito ang definition ng bawat variable dito sa ating basic exponential model. Okay, generally... Ito ang ating formula. So, sa first question, kailangan nating ibigay ang model or representation ng ating problem na half-life of a radioactive substance is 1,000 years. Tapos, given ang initial amount ng substance, and it's 400 grams. So, ano yung dalawang information na stated sa problem? Half-life. It's 1,000 years. So, yan ang capital T. Capital T is equal to 1,000 years. If the initial amount of the substance is 400 grams, initial amount so that would be y sub 0 its value is 400 grams okay so given itong dalawang information na ito pwede na nating isulat ang exponential model natin for this problem 
Let's use the basic model. It's y equals y sub 0 times 1 half raised to small t over capital T. So, you plug in mo lang ang value ng capital T at ng y sub 0. So, we have y equals 400 times 1 half raised to capital T over 1,000. This is our answer for letter A. Ito ang exponential model or representation ng problem natin. Okay? So, for letter B, how much of the substance remain after 1,500 years? So, tignan ninyo yung given time. Ang given time ay 1,500 years and it's over the half-life time. Ang half-life time ay 1,000 years. That means, kung initially, ang amount ng radioactive substance ay 400 grams, pagsapit ng 1,000 years, itong 400 grams will be cut into half. Magiging 200 grams yung amount ng substance. For the next 1,000 years, yung current value na 200 grams makakat ulit into half. Magiging what's half of 200 grams, 100 grams. Okay? So, etong given time mo, ito yung replacement value mo for the small t dito sa nagawa nating exponential model for this problem. It's a value of time that's between yung first half-life na 1,000 years at yung susunod ulit na half-life, yung next 1,000 years. Okay? So, gawa nga tayo ng, ng, ano, ng table para makita natin ano ang ini-expect nating value if time is 1,500 years. So, if time is zero, so yan ang starting time natin, tapos ipo-plug in mo ang time zero dito sa ating nagawang model, the exponent becomes zero divided by 1,000, 0 divided by 1,000 is 0. So, 1 half raised to 0 by 0 exponent law, it's equal to 1 times 400. So, ang value ay yung initial pa rin because time is 0. Here, y is equal to the initial or the starting value. Pagsapit ng 1,000 years, since 1,000 years if the half-life time, of course, pwede mo nang hulaan na ang amount of substance, new amount of substance is half of 400 and that's 200. Pwede mong i-validate using our model, yung nagawa natin, yung sagot natin sa letter A. If this is 1,000, i-replace mo yan ng 1,000. The exponent becomes 1,000 over 1,000 equals 1. And 1 half raised to 1 is 1 half. 1 half times 400, 200. So, consistent. Pag another 1,000 years, so, that means your time is 2,000 years na. Makakat na naman into half itong current value mo na 200. Pwede ulit nating hulaan, what is half of 200? It's 100 grams. I-validate natin kung ito din ang lalabas na value using our model 
y equals 400 times 1 half raised to t over 1,000. So, if time is 2,000, yung exponent mo ay magiging 2,000 over 1,000. And that's equal to 2. 1 half raised to 2 is 1 fourth. 1 fourth times 400 is the same as 400 divided by 4. And that's equal to 100. Okay? So, sa letter B, pinapahanap ang final amount ng radioactive substance mo if time is 1,500 years. Ang 1,500 years ay nasa pagitan ng 1,000 at 2,000 years. Nandito siya. Okay? So, if time is 1,500 years, that means naka-isang half-life na yung substance mo. Okay? Pero hindi pa nagaganap itong second half-life niya. So, ano ang i-expect mong amount ng radioactive substance if T is 1,500 years? It's a value that's greater than 100 but less than 200. It's somewhere between the numbers 100 and 200. Yun ang dapat nating makuhang value. Okay, so mag-solve tayo. So, ito gagamitin na natin to solve for letter B. How much of the substance? So, ang required sa letter B ay final value. Y is unknown. Time is given. So, time is 1,500 years. So, i-plug in lang natin yan dyan. O, solvable na yung new value natin. So, Y equals 400 times 1 half. Substitute T is 1,500 over 1,000. Gem this rule. Evaluate the exponential first, then multiply. Ito pwede natin i-reduce by 500. So, yung exponent ng 1 half mo, in lowest terms, magiging 3 halves. 1,500 divided by 500 is 3. 1,000 divided by 500 is 2. So, para mas simple, naging 400 times 1 half raised to 3 over 2. Oh, so, para gawin mas simple ang i-input ninyo sa calculator ninyo, pwede nyong i-input na lang ang 400 instead of 1 half 0 0.5 ang i-input ninyo tapos ang exponent ninyo instead of 3 halves it's 1.5 so mas madaling i-input ito kaysa dito Lalo na kung hindi right view ang calculator mo. So, gagamit ka ng mga parenthesis kasi kapag hindi right view ang calculator. So, mas simple itong i-input sa calculator. Unahin nyo munang i-evaluate ang 0 0.5 raised to 1.5. So, ang lalabas sa calculator na value niyan ay... Paki-double check ninyo, 0 0.35355339059059. Then, multiply by 400, it's equal to 141.4. 
Tapos i-approximate natin, round off to the nearest hole, ang new amount ng radioactive substance after 1,500 years is 141 grams. So, is one one 141 grams. So, is this value greater than 100 but less than 200? Yes. So, it makes sense. Kasi, hindi pa nagaganap ang second half-life ng radioactive substance. So, it should be over yung next half half-life amount niya na 100. Okay? So, this is the answer for letter B. Okay, so if you have questions or clarification, you post your comment or message me sa aking inbox. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Tutor Marife MCP. Thank you.